Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can restore a previous version of an item in a Microsoft list. Um, so let me explain to you what I'm talking about. I actually recorded a similar video on how to restore a previous version of the document in a document library. Uh, with lists, uh, the functionality is pretty much identical. Uh, however, there is one minor twist I want you to be aware of. So let me explain. So let me first create a new list. So I obviously access uh, Microsoft list app over here from uh, Office uh, 365 app launcher. You can create a list that way, uh, or you can navigate to any given site and uh, you know click the gear icon, site contents, and create a list that way. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, uh, you know, how you do it. Uh, you end up uh, with the same functionality, the same list. Uh, you have to specify uh, in case if you are creating a list from a Microsoft list, you just have to specify where it belongs, uh, which site it will belong to versus here. It's kind of already a done deal. Uh, so let me go ahead and create a new uh, list. Uh, I'm going to create a new list. Let's just to save a time, I'm going to, uh, to create one from template. So let's pretend we're creating an employee onboarding list right here. We'll use that template. And, uh, you know, let's give it a name. Here we go. And of course, where I want to save it to, I want to save it to an existing site. It has to belong somewhere. Most likely it will belong to, a, you know, on a given SharePoint site. Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and hit create. All right. Uh, now let me just add a new uh, entry right here. Uh, so um, I, um, yeah, I, you know, some text here, doesn't really matter. I guess uh, we have some fields that we need to complete. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm not going to really uh, go crazy with all this uh, uh, fields. Perfect. All right, so I just created a new entry right here. And um, now, um, if you recall in a document library, we just uh, right clicked and we were able to access version history and restore it. However, this option is not available here. Why? Because by default, version history is disabled on lists. Uh, on libraries, it's automatically enabled. You can actually, uh, you can, uh, as a matter of fact, you cannot disable it, but unless it's off by default. So you have to enable it. So how do we enable it? What you need to do, you need to click the gear icon, list settings, version history right here, versioning settings. And look at this, we have to enable it. You see by uh, it's off by default, we are going to enable it. And you have to specify the uh, number of versions that are going to be saved. The number has to be between one and 50,000. So you can actually save up to 50,000. Let's just save up to 500. We really don't need any more. Uh, okay. And uh, I'm going to click OK. Perfect. So version history is now uh, enabled. Here is my uh, same uh, list. Uh, just uh, I access it from uh, the site itself. Uh, that why, that's why it looks a little bit different. Let's go ahead and make a change uh, to this list. Uh, let's go ahead and, you know, I'm going to click. I'm going to edit some entries uh, and I'm going to uh, add a description maybe. Uh, maybe, you know, what changed this date to something else. Here we go. Just making a few changes. Perfect. Now, how do we restore the uh, previous version of uh, of this item, right? I made some changes. Right-click, same way as you would do on a document library now. Right-click, version history. And just like with the document library, you will get to see the whole history of this particular item. Uh, every time you create a new version, you know, it actually shows you who made the change, when it was made, and what changes have been made. Look at this. Uh, it shows me that I changed the, you know, the, the, the date field and added the description. I want to restore this one. So we're at 2.0, I need to restore 1.0. You click the drop down, restore. So same process, folks, you know, same process as with the document library, really nothing new here. And look at this, it goes back to the same. You see another version was created and it actually lose, lost a description and it reverted the date back to the date that I had uh, with version 1.0. All right, um, so that's all uh, really I wanted to show you today. Uh, again, the process is pretty straightforward. The only thing you need to remember, you need to enable that version history. Um, as a matter of fact, and I wish it was on by default, but it's off. Uh, as a matter of fact, anytime I create a new list, 
Uh, doesn't really matter what the objective and use case is. I always enable version history on it. You, you never know when you're going to need one. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.